Right, well to understand the geology of the southwest, the most important thing you have to understand is granite. That's the cause of what made all the mineral veins, all the tin and the copper that's mined in the area. So first of all, we need to start with the granite. When the granite formed, it could only rise up to within six miles of the surface. And this can be proven by what's happening in the Himalayas today. The interesting thing is, if we add six miles on top of the granite here, then we get a mountain chain that ran down the entire southwest, across Dartmoor and all the way out to Arsa Silly, that would actually have been higher than the Himalayas are today. First of all, we've mentioned that you need granite to create all these mineral veins, but to make granite, what you need is a mountain chain. This particular type of granite that you see here only forms in the core of a mountain. What happened was about 280 million years ago, the plates here forming the bottom end of England actually crashed with what was called the Amorican plate, which was part of France at the time. And when these two collided, they built up mountain ranges. When mountain ranges build up, you don't just get the mountains building upwards. What really happens is as well as building up, they build down as well. And it's down in the bottom in the root where it gets pushed deeper and deeper into the ground and the temperature increases and the pressure increases that those surface rocks start to melt. Now what was very important was that they had water in them and the water acts as a solvent and allows the rock to melt. Now it may seem strange, but granite is actually a very light rock. It's a lot lighter than any of the other sediments around it. So what happens is, it starts to rise to the surface. And as it goes, blocks break off and fall to the bottom of the mix, and it starts to rise until it gets to a certain point. As the pressure drops, what happens is, the water stops acting as a solvent, and the granite suddenly sets. But what's important is the point where it happens. Granite sets at six miles underground. So it means that here in the southwest, we actually had a mountain chain which was higher than the Himalayas. And that ran all the way from Dartmoor in the far east, right the way down past the Isles of Scilly. The final stage happened about 20 million years ago. And what happened was the Alps formed. And our section of the plate in the southwest under the pressure was bowed downwards. And that's because we still had the root of the mountains attached. When it came to coming back up above sea level, around about two million years ago, we rose up, but we stopped at about a thousand feet lower than we are now. And this can actually be seen because it left Dartmoor and Bodmin Moor just above sea level, and Bodmin Moor would have actually been a series of islands just like the Isles of Scilly are today, and all around was sea. And when we look over across towards Dartmoor, you can actually see where the sea would have run through and has actually planed the landscape flat. So only the tours and the pieces of granite exposed were left behind.